Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today and I'm covering with you today Tesla Energy and we also talk about the car statistics in Germany which are really good when it comes to EVs and that even without Tesla producing cars in there and we also look into the battery question and we will start with that now right away because the battery question I want to talk about is what are you going to do when your Tesla or other EV um, is um, going to have a battery that is not working properly anymore. And there's a pretty um, harsh discussion online um, from a YouTuber who said that he apparently, apparently um, got a paper of um, $22,000 um, that it would cost to replace um, the battery for a Tesla, um, which later on was revealed that it was actually not a proper offer um, that he received, so it could be much lower. Um, but he was indicating that um, you should um, go to a car um, store and just repair it with uh, $5,000. Uh, $5, and there are experts out there that are studying the batteries and have been um, into that story or into this uh, topic for a long time and many say it's not a good idea to change your battery um, for five thousand dollars because you're just extending the issue here um, so if you do that um, you might have a battery that is not working one year later so it's not really worth it and furthermore there was also a suggestion you should um, try to um, yeah, get the part of the battery that is not working, just cut it off from the rest of the battery pack. But this is uh, pretty much nonsense. It makes no sense at all. So um, the big question we all have to ask ourselves is if, if um, that is uh, important, if you're really driving um, an EV for such a long time, till you get into the situation that you have to think about um, buying a new battery for the car or buying a new car, what would you do? And that is a question to you guys um, because we will come to that story at some point in a few years that those people who bought a Tesla right now might have to make that decision. And the question at the end of the day is what will Tesla do? Um, I mean, Tesla's vision is to accelerate um, the um, um, yeah, accelerate um, the EVs and make EVs cheaper for everyone. And this is the point where I believe if battery costs go further down, Tesla could be interested um, in having f a fair price for a new battery in a Tesla that has driven for over seven, eight hundred kilo thousand kilometers. So um, based on that, um, yeah, just let me know your thoughts about that. Looking at Germany, we do have news from the EV market here. 53,221 EVs were sold in July from the car makers um, produced inside Germany. So it's not even included um, the EVs from Tesla here. 21% um, of the market's um, cars that were produced in Germany um, are actually um, already EVs. So we do see that the German market is shifting right now as well. And once the uh, Tesla factory here in Grünheide is ready, um, this market share of cars produced in Germany, which are EVs, will substantially increase um, over time. So compare that to last year, it was 6%. So I think that is a big, um, yeah, it's a big shift that is happening here. Um, there's a way to go, guys. I mean, honestly, but um, the trend is your friend. And I think this is a really good and positive trend we can see here. Um, this is not saying that all the EVs we have currently produced are actually great products or are competing with Tesla here. I just want to so show you um, that in uh, as well in Germany, a shift to EVs is happening. Um, I do think that once Tesla is coming into play, competition is going to be pretty, pretty um, stiff, pretty high. Um, and, and the consumer has to do the decision if they want to buy a Model 3, Model Y or a car from a other brand. So that will be an interesting um, battlefield, I, I must say, here in Germany. 
So um, then we go into the um, virtual power plant because there are more news coming from that from Australia. So um, Tesla actually starts to um, expand the business not only from South Australia, um, but they are now going into Victoria as well. Um, in total in South Australia and Victoria, they have the permission for 50,000 homes where they can install power walls and solar panels. Um, what I find interesting here, it is it is a deal where they especially go with low income families and um, people. So it is a way to reduce the energy costs, especially for those people um, being part of the energy plan. And I think that's something that in, fu in the future in other countries where the energy costs are really high, um, that Tesla can really enter this market here and make some good money and on the other hand as well at the same time help people to reduce their fixed costs they have um, every single month. And so 1000 power walls are installed already, uh, 3000 um, are granted already so they will build 3000 more, install 3000 more and I think that is um, a really good sign um, we do see that the virtual power plant, the energy plant, it's really going under the radar. We have so much potential here. Um, it's barely talked about. I think it's a bit the same like when Tesla just sold the Model S and Model X. No one was talking about massive um, amount of cars like the Model 3 and Model Y being mass produced. I think that's the same with, with the virtual power plant. Once people really realize what massive amount of potential is here, um, I think many countries will um, go into that. There will be a lot of fights, guys, a lot of lobbying, of course, of the electricity companies um, against that. Um, but I think it is important that we move towards that direction. Um, furthermore, um, we have updates from New Mexico. Um, in New Mexico, a new uh, mega pack plant is supposed to be built. Um, it's supposed to replace a coal plant which is um, yeah having 562 megawatts. And if you follow Tesla, you might recognize that in the past um, months, but as well years since the mega pack is um, started to be produced, um, the amount of um, uh, the amount of uh, these kind of uh, projects are really increasing. Uh, it, uh, um, it is just um, astonishing to see. Um, especially in the United States. So a lot of people of you guys are from the United States as well, um, that these projects are really keep uh, getting up um, really fast here. So um, as well, really good news here. So we do see energy business is going in the right direction. Um, I believe we will see some really good numbers in the third quarter and as well in the next year. So um, I think um, the energy business will be um, the major growth factor for Tesla in the coming years, um, a part of the car business, of course, but this will not um, be that fast as the energy business. Thank you very much for listening today and I wish you all a wonderful day. Take care, guys.